We have been showing these images lately on the show, people queuing up to vote uh, in Ohio in 2004. That year in Ohio, voters waited in line for eight hours or more just to get a ballot. The problems were especially bad in Ohio cities where voters tend to support Democrats and where in 2004 voters discovered polling places were really just not ready for everybody who wanted to vote. That night, that night of the long lines, George W. Bush, of course, won the state of Ohio and Mr. Bush won a second term as president. And a few months later, a congressional committee called out Ohio for the way it had run that election. Congress called on Ohio to reform its elections to make things work better. But it was not just Ohio where people waited in line in 2004. In Florida that year, people also waited in long hours in lines at the polls. And we went back to look for old footage of those lines in Ohio. We also found these images, people lined up at the polls in the great state of Florida, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for the chance to vote. That night, George W. Bush, of course, won the state of Florida as well. After the debacle of the 04 election, officials in the states took another look at early voting, at whether offering more days and more hours for early voting might help more voters vote without it taking all day and lots of people leaving the polls in frustration without voting because they just didn't have the time to wait. Voters also decided maybe there was something to that early voter thing. Maybe they'd, be, uh, they'd, they'd better get their ballots in early, wherever they could, the next time around. This is the percentage of people who voted ahead of time, who voted early in some key states in 2004. And here is the percentage of people who voted early in 2008. The additional percentage is that blue bit there, right? Each of these states is considered a swing state now for this next election in 2012. But look at that list where early voting went up. In 2008, when it grew, all of these states flipped from red to blue, from choosing the Republican nominee in 04 to choosing the Democratic one in 2008. The percentage of people voting early went up, and perhaps coincidentally, Mr. Obama won. In Colorado, in Florida, in Iowa, in Nevada, New Mexico, North Carolina, Ohio, Virginia, all these states that had gone for George Bush in the previous election, when early voting increased, the Democrat running for president won. Empirically, it would appear that... Early voting is at least correlated with Democrats doing well. You cannot say that early voting causes Democrats to do well, but it is apparently linked by circumstance. And empirically, the link would make sense because early voting in particular is popular with voters who tend to support Democrats. Consider Florida. In the last election in Florida, a clear majority of the African-Americans who cast a ballot cast their ballot early. More than half the African-Americans in Florida who voted, voted early. A million-plus African-American voters. They voted in person and early. By percentage in Florida, only half as many white voters did that. So early voting mattered to African-American voters in Florida more than it did to other voters. And early voting was crucial to Barack Obama's victory in Florida. Likewise... In Ohio, African-Americans in the Cleveland area make up just over a quarter of the population, but they cast more than half that county's early ballots in 2008. Barack Obama won Cleveland by 39 points. In the Columbus area, African-Americans make up just a fifth of the population, but they were a third of that county's early voters. Barack Obama won Columbus by 20 points, and he won Ohio to go along with Florida, and of course he won the presidency. Did early voting, and in particular African-American voters and other minority voters taking advantage of early voting opportunities in great numbers, did that cause Democrats to win the White House in 2008? Again, the, the, the link may merely be correlated and not causative. It could just be coincidence. But you know who else noticed that, that there was a link there between early voting and Democratic success? Republicans noticed. In Florida, Republican Governor Rick Scott signed a bill that cuts early voting from 14 days to 8 days. It also takes away voting on the Sunday before the election when many African-American churches carpool to the polls. And in Ohio, Republicans tried to cut early voting in half, but they eventually had to settle for cutting just the last three days when almost 100,000 Ohioans voted in 2008. Then Ohio Republicans tried to offer more time for early voting in Republican counties than in Democratic counties. So you really could vote more easily if you live in a red county. Ohio Republicans tried that, and it almost worked. Until yesterday, under public pressure, and I think maybe some embarrassment, Ohio's Republican Secretary of State John Houston finally announced that he was cutting back early voting equally for everyone. He caved on having more early voting hours in the Republican counties than in the, than in the Democratic counties. But the rule in Ohio now, he says, will be less early voting for everyone. What that means for Democrats running in Ohio, from the president 
And from our next guest, Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown, who's in one of the hottest races in the country, is just ahead.